Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video I'm going to give you an explanation of how we can communicate to PLC together. So, there are different ways to communicate with PLCs. I already explained how to use NBLs, which is an easy way to share information between the PLCs. But in this moment, on this video, I'm going to explain to you how we can communicate via mobile TCP. Uh, share variables between the two PLCs using the IO scanner. So let's go to the software. So in this case, I have a Modicon M241 and I have two Modicon M262. So I'm going to work with M241 and M262 in this case. And I'm going to connect. I'm just going to give you the concept of how we can work with this. So the first thing that we need to do is to go into device tree and change the IP address to be in the same range. Okay. I'm not writing anything. Good. So one, two, four, one. Two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five. And then we're going to have this one, which is my router. In this case, I'm going to enable this model server because we need to interact between each other. And then the other one, Ethernet. In this case, it's the Ethernet 2. It's already configured with this. So we need to make sure that the IP address is in the same range of the two devices to access information. Then what you can do here is to define just one PLC as a, must, as a master or client, and then the other PLC as a, a slave or server. So. If we go to the M262, we can select on the protocols, Molva TCP, or we can go to miscellaneous and use Molva TCP slay device. So this one, we create a slay device for the PLC that we have already selected. Okay, here. And here you have all the configuration for the holding register and input register. This will give you the mapping so you can access from the other device. Okay, this is good. The only thing is that um, it can generate some kind of confusion, even if it says IW or QW, is uh, these are holding registers, so it can generate a little bit of confusion. So um, I don't use it in that way. <laughs> okay, uh, so. The other way to work is using the AS scanner. So in protocol managers, not TCP AS scanner. And here to just wait for this to what's up. Hmm. Okay. And they just add the model as scanner. Once the model as scanner is added, we just need to add a generic model as TCP slave. So in my case, it's going to be uh device underscore my m241 so it's the device that is going to be communicated to the m262 so i close this and here my device here just need to specify the ip address of the device i'm going to communicate m241 which is this one so this one is going to communicate to this here in channels you just need to define the channels that you're going to read and write from the other device. So here add channel, here you have what you need to add. Okay. So you have or read holding register, write multiple register, or just the multiple ones. So now that you have this, you just need to figure out where the information is in the N241 in this case. So we have different ways to do this. So we have the possibility to go into the application, for example, the M241. We can add, for example, a new GBL. GBL, uh, my, my, my PLC, or my M241. It doesn't matter. And here, change from text to tabular, add variable. So it's going to be um, w variable one here. It's from a word, 
and this one I'm going to duplicate this copy two three and four and change so we had added four variables okay so in order to communicate from the m262 that is over here to this one we just need to define some field called addresses so here we can manually add mw10 percentage mw20 mw30 and mw31 okay simple as that so now that we have manually added the addresses there is another video for how to address the variables in the plc so you can look for that one uh, but in this case i'm going to use only words so in this case when you have this my device a channel read holding register so i'm going to read two i need to start on the 30 so channel mw30 channel read and you give you the name of the channel and the two variables that I'm going to read and it's using dexadecimal so if you go to the calculator change these two decimal it give you the 30 so if you go to up here it appears after it change you will find the name of the channel and the deposit to access to each bit okay and then you can use on the plc in the n262 these variables so um, you can put m241 underscore mw30 m241 mw31 and you can use on the n262 this one let me just create a new view you structure text view you here it belongs to the n262 input assistant application lives in global here you have m241 and the view 30 and then you can use it in your code okay so this is one way so you can manually curate the variables and it will assign a position internally in the controller in the m262 for the m241 they just define the addresses the other way to share the data will be to create a relocation table on the PLC that's going to be as a server. So in my case, in all the cases, M241 is going to be the server. So if you go to tools three, here M241, add variables, relocation table, add. Here you have the possibility to define variables to read and write. So I'm going to send to the variable is going to be global view to do, do, do gbls no global should be here okay let's just compile we just need to find for the variable how it created that i just forgot the name i believe is i variable something let's wait for it to, to compile and then we should be able to to find i variable let's see you can see variable one variable two oh no three and variable four the same for writing oh. here for write okay so once you use the relocation table and assign the variables over here you can see that automatically the system creates the addresses for you and it is starting a high position level so we start with the 60,200 position for reading and 62,200 for writing information so that information already done 
So if you need to access to this, we just need to do the same thing on the M262. Here, channel configuration, channel relocation, read. And the advantage is that all the addresses are all together, so you can specify the amount, the real amount, and it's going to be an improvement on the communication. So reading, offset, 6 and 2. OK, and it will add all the values in the I.O. mapping here for the relocation table. You can use M241, new MW30, M241, new MW31. OK, so this is how you can use the relocation table. I have already explained another, in another video how to set this up in a much better way. And you can see that automatic assistant defines addresses for us. Okay, so this is how we can communicate two PLCs and to to X range in Machine Expert using Modula TCP to share information between them. In this particular case, we have already done one client and one server, but you can see that you can do the same client and server at the same time doing it this way. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.